Warner Brothers just released the first trailer for Joker Folia 2, aka Joker 2. I'm going to take a look at this one next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca. How you doing on this Tuesday night? Thanks so much for clicking play on this trailer reaction. I appreciate it madly. Before we go forward, just a reminder to please subscribe to the channel down below and hit that bell button so you help the Outlaw Nation get to 50,000 subscribers. Well, 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 tonight we got the first teaser trailer for Joker Folia 2, Joker 2 here from Warner Brothers. I'm going to take a look at this one in just a second. I'm really excited to see what we're going to get here because we've got the return of Joaquin Phoenix here as Arthur Fleck, and we've got Lady Gaga coming in as Harley and Quinzel, a.k.a. Harley Quinn, and a lot of people speculating what this is going to be about, what it's going to cover here. Certainly the musical aspect of this is something that is dividing some of the fans on social media and other places, but this excites me from Todd Phillips. I like him as an innovative director, as an interesting director on what he can bring to the table. So I'm excited to see what more he's going to bring to it. And, and Folia 2, for those of you who may not know, it is essentially folly of two and implies shared delusions, a psychiatric term implying shared delusions. So is all the musical stuff going to be all in their heads or is this something more that's happening here? And here are the people involved in this. Brendan Gleeson, Catherine Keener, Steve Coogan, uh, Ken Leung, Jacob Laughlin, and Harry Lottie. So there's a lot of people, a lot of good actors, interesting, diverse character actors involved in this one as well. So real curious to see what we're going to get. So let's not waste any time. Let's bring this trailer up here and take a look at the first teaser trailer here for Joker Folia Do. <laughs> I'm assuming that's like Arkham Asylum. Go for us today. Oh, he sees her on the choir. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's a Burt Backrock song. We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures wow. within ourselves. Rain, umbrellas. <laughs> I'm nobody. Oh, no, this is imagination. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Oh, she's an inmate. God. Let's get out of here. What is this, Ha Ha Land? So I was right. That's what the world is like, love. Is a love, sweet love. It's the oh. only thing what? that there's just too little love. What the world are you love? Tell us, what's changed? Are there more? Oh, yeah, Steve Gilbert, love. Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. <laughs> oh. Oh. I want to see the real you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes! Oh. Uh, yes. Yes. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so right off the bat, I am a fan of musicals. I love musicals, love the scope of musicals, love the uh the way it pushes the film medium. Some of the greatest musicals really show you what um is possible. Uh, through this medium. Some of the great directors have done wonderful musicals. We've seen musicals making a comeback over the last few years. Not always succeeding. Certainly for every greatest showman, there is a West Side Story or In the Heights that I thought were excellent musicals but didn't quite get over. But then you have something like La La Land, which kind of walks that line between the two there. And so I love this approach. Absolutely. I mean, the cinematography here, the direction you can tell from the trailer 
is excellent. I mean, the the uh, swinging between what is in his mind, what is not in his mind, what is real. How do we escape these places that we are we go into when we're dark? How do we create these other worlds, these other uh, uh, um, realities in order to exist in when we get uh, lost in our thoughts or lost in our psychosis or lost in our shit? In no way am I saying like, okay, he's cool because of you know all the stuff he didn't joke in the first Joker movie, of course. But we're certainly seeing it through his point of view, and we're seeing this relationship that he has with Lady Gaga, who I think comes off really great in this trailer. Shocking to see, because, I mean, in the in the normal story, she is a psychiatrist and gets seduced by Joker and becomes Harley Quinn because of that. This is completely different. She is in the asylum already. You see her singing in the choir or whatever. So, you know, there's going to be new music reportedly from Lady Gaga in the film. And then you see them connecting slowly but surely and going into these fantastical musical numbers as their love and connection grows. Are they really hosting a talk show? Is she the musical uh, band leader for the talk show? Is she the permanent musical guest and he's the host? Is that what's happening? Or is that all in their head as well? What is real? Love the rainbow. I'm sorry, love the umbrellas changing color when he's looking up. But yes, all of this stuff has a darkness to it from beginning it to end throughout this trailer. But also, uh, I mean, you can, but also has this incredible musical side of it too that's going to really challenge us as an audience as we're watching this. So, Man, oh man, this looks fucking fantastic. I just, already I'm 100% in. This is just like I felt after I saw the first trailer for the Joker movie all those years ago in 2019. So I am excited to see what more we're going to get here of the story. I mean, that shot of her pulling a gun on him and they're in the nightclub act or whatever. Like, what is that all about? But then her drawing that smiley face there because she wants to see the real you. What does that mean? Have they been kind of um, involved in their fantasies, lost in their fantasies, and now she's ready to accept him for who he fully is and wants him to be fully Joker, and she wants to go along for the ride. I don't know. So, man, a lot of questions coming out of this one, but visually striking, um, looks phenomenally well-directed, love the cinematography here, love the usage of the song uh, What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love, but also all the darkness of him being dragged across the ground, beat up the explosions guns being pulled her uh, uh going up the stairs into the court into the court what is that all about so there's so much here that i think we're gonna thoroughly enjoy and this is just a taste just a taste of what's to come from the full trailer um when we get a first official trailer that'll give us a little bit more of the story as well so as a teaser i'm 100 percent in hell i'm a million percent in what did you think did you like it did you think it was good did you enjoy what we got did you catch anything as we were watching it you know it's the only first time i'm watching so i might have missed some things did you catch the steve coogan being in this what are your thoughts on all of that we got here in this trailer let me know down in the comment section below what stood out to you what popped out at you what do you think we're gonna get what are your spe what's your speculation here did you want to see other people in this trailer who are from the cast and you didn't get it let me know what you thought about all of it down in the comment section below hit a like on this video share it on your social media and hey more than anything else please subscribe to the channel down below hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so as you are dropping all the content we do here in the outlaw nation channel all right you guys are the best thank you so much for watching this teaser trailer reaction look for that official trailer reaction coming real soon and we'll see this film a little bit later in the fall of 2024 and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the outlaw nation <laughs>